Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as exceptions. Now question arises: What exceptions are? Now in general, when you talk about exceptions, there are those are errors. Now think about it. Now when you want to work with any programming language, let it be C, let it be C plus plus, let it be Java. All this programming language has something in common, and that common thing is called as errors. Now when you work with any programming language, the first thing you do is it's not you don't check the output what you check is the number of errors now if you are a startup programmer if you if you are just starting to learn a new programming language so if you try to implement any new logic you will do something you will write a code and then when you compile it so first thing is not what the output will be what our concern is how many errors we are getting right so when you talk about errors we have multiple types of errors we have uh, so we talk about errors so we have multiple types of errors we have we have first called as syntax error now what is syntax error whenever you write any code right and when you do some uh, mistake in spellings right when like example if you talk about system so in java you have a keyword or a system it's a class actually if you write a spelling of system incorrectly right like if you write s i s t e m so if you miss y by i so it will give you an error and that error is your syntax error then we have something called as runtime error okay and then we have logical error now when you talk about logical error it's something like if you have uh, when you compile your code it's working right it's working but when you run your code and you do you give some input like you give input like 2 and 2 plus 2 what you expect is 4 right and if you getting an answer as 5 it's a logical error you are getting the output but you are getting the wrong wrong output so syntax is if you are doing any spelling mistake syntax if you are doing any logical mistake right if you are if you are writing any any logic which is wrong so you will get logical error main problem arise when you have runtime errors because compile time error or if you talk about syntax error those errors will come when you do programming it will not come on user end logical error also comes and uh, comes with when you do programming right you can test it but runtime error may come in user side on user side right so if you create a code and if you submit that code to your user to use it and suddenly you do you do something wrong and in that case you will get runtime errors example of runtime errors like a user want to read a file okay so he try to read the file and unfortunately that file has a lock so you cannot open that file right so your code will generate an error and that error will be runtime exception so for this you have to handle your runtime exceptions so that's why our topic a topic is so our topic is exception handling we have to handle this errors right now question arises how to handle The first thing, whenever you work with exception handling, you have to focus on the statements, right? Now, whenever you write Java code, you you, you will write multiple statements, right? Now, these statements are of two types. First type is called as normal statement. Second type is called as critical statement. So, first one is normal statement. Second is critical. So, first is normal statement, and second will be critical statement. Now, so if you write a code, let's suppose I, let me write a code. So if I write a code in this way, let's suppose this is my public static void main, PSM public static void main, okay. And in this, I will write some statement. My first statement is int i equal to five. So this is my first statement, right? This statement is a normal statement. So let me write all the statement. What I need to do is I need I need some uh, value of j two. then i need a value of k which will be i divided by j simple right and finally i will say sop which is system dot out dot print ln in bracket i will pass k okay so code looks so simple so you have four statement and when you execute this type of statements it will give you some output right and output is 2 right because when you say pi divided by 2 it will give you Uh, two as your quotient and one as your remainder. 
So what will get is your question, which is your two. But the problem is this statements are of two types. In this statement, you will find some statements as normal statement and some statements as critical statement. Now, question arises: How to guess which statement are critical, which statement of uh, are uh, uh, normal? Let's think about it. When you execute this statement everywhere, this statement will work, right? If it is int i equal to five, simple statement, it will work. Second is int j equal to two, it will work. Third statement is int k is equal to i divided by j. It looks normal, right? It looks normal, but it's not normal. It's critical. Think about it. When you execute this part, what will it will do is it will divide i by j. Simple. But the problem is if your j value is zero in case if your j value is zero, you will do i divided by j. It means pi divided by zero. It should be infinity, right? But in programming language, it will give you an error. So you have to handle those errors. Okay. So to handle this error, this is this these statements are normal statement, but this statement is critical statement. So so what programming standard says? What programming standard says? You have to write your normal statement normally. So my I have three normal statement in this way. I have S O P and in bracket it is K, right? But I have one critical statement, and that critical statement is int K. Let me declare it int or uh, K of We have one more declaration. What's more important is K equal to I divided by J, right? Now this statement is critical, so that's why. This statement should be enclosed. It should be enclosed in a block, and that block is called as try block. So your critical statement will be enclosed in try block, and then we'll be having something called as catch block. If this try block, if it just give me one sec. Okay. So if this try block gives you an error, if it throws an error. You have to catch the exception, right? So for that you have to write exception, and you have to create object of exception as e, and you have to open the braces and close the braces. You can write some statement here also in these braces. So what normally you have is whenever you work with any critical statement, that critical statement should be in a try block. Okay, so this is your try block. So that statement should be in try block. If that statement goes normally, if it executes normally, it will continue for SOP. It will skip this catch block. But if your critical statement generates or throws an error, in that case you have to catch. So your throw, your try will throw, your catch will catch, and it will catch the exception, right? So this is how you have to handle the exceptions. Simple, right? So we will do some practical implementation in next example. Okay, so do watch my next video for practical example. But now we have this code. Now there is one more shortcut. If you don't want to go for try and uh, try and catch, what you can do is let's suppose you want to go for normal thing only. You can you have to go in this way. It's i divided by j. But you don't want to write try catch. So we have one more thing called as throws exception. Okay, so you can also use a keyword called as throws exception. So for a particular statement, you can apply try catch. For the whole method, you can apply throws exception. Right. Uh, so we have number of types of exception. So we'll do something. We have lots of exceptions. We have exceptions like. Uh, exception. This is your, this is parent of all the exception, big exception. Then we have array index out of bounds exception. So this is one of the exception. Then we have we have number formal exception. We have number format exception. And this goes on. We have lots of exception, but the main exception is your exception. So the exception is a exception is your main exception. Then we have also SQL exception. We have file 
not found exception. We have lots of exceptions, right? So how to use the exception? The same way we have done try, catch or you can use throws. So for the practical implementation, check out the next video. And do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much.